Hello, what is up? My name is Mark and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I tuturuan ko kayo kung paano mag-uninstall ng current Microsoft Office version na gamit niyo sa laptop niyo at ituturo din natin kung paano mag-install nitong Office 365. On my previous video, ay naituro na natin kung paano mag-activate ng ating DepEd uh, 0365. Okay? On this video, meron tayong limang dapat alalahanin bago tayo mag-proceed doon sa ating step. Number one, make sure natin ng ating O365 ay activated na. Pangalawa, kailangan meron tayong malakas na internet connection. Pangatlo, kailangan natin ng O365 installer. And the installer is provided on the, the description. Pakicheck na lang. And then, pang-apat is, of course, ay mahabang pasensya. Then, pang-lima, pinaka-importante sa lahat, kailangan nyo pong mag-subscribe sa aking channel. So, start na natin. Ang unang gagawin natin ay mag uh, i uninstall natin or i uninstall natin ng ating current uh, Microsoft Office para hindi sila mag-conflict. So, whatever version na gamit natin, ay kailangan na nating tanggalin yun. Okay, if you're using Office 2007 hanggang 2019, mas, I, or I advise na tanggalin na lang para hindi sila mag-conflict with Office 365. Ayun, so, let's start. On our screen, makikita nyo, all you have to do is to click on Start button. Tapos, bubuksan natin yung tinatawag nating Control Panel. On the control panel, hahanapin natin yung office or uninstall. Pipindutin natin ang uninstall a program. Kung hindi ganito yung nakikita nyo sa inyong screen, pwede nyo tignan dito sa may view by. Okay, by category ang nakalagay dyan. Baka mamaya naka large icon kayo, naka small icon. So pindutin na lang natin yung by category para at least pare-parehas po tayo ng screen. And then, Pipindot po natin yung uninstall a program. So, pipindutin natin yon at hahanapin po natin yung Microsoft Office version na meron sa atin. On my laptop, ang nakalagay po dito ay Microsoft Office Professional 2019. So, pwedeng mag-iba po doon sa gamit yung Office version. Pwedeng lower version or higher version. So, pwedeng 2007 ang nakalagay dyan. Basta ang importante po sa lahat, kailangan po nating hanapin yung Microsoft Office and then nag-iiba lang naman po yan sa mga version or sa mga year. So, ang gagawin po natin is to highlight or click, left click po. And then, pag na-click na natin yon mayroon kayong makikitang uninstall sa taas. So, all you have to do is to click on uninstall. Pipindutin po natin ang uninstall. And then, hihintayin lang po natin na matapos ang uninstallation process bago tayo mag-proceed sa susunod na step. Depende po sa ating computer or depende po sa ating laptop kung gaano kabilis ang pag-uninstall niya. So, pwedeng mabilis sa inyo, pwedeng mabagal. Kaya nga, uh, kaya sabi natin is patience lang po. Okay? Ayun. Uh, makikita natin doon, we have done an installing. So, ang pipindutin lang po natin doon ay close. Okay? So, ayun. Uh, I advise kailangan po natin i-restart yung ating computer or ang ating laptop bago po natin i-install ang Office 365 kasi minsan nagkakaroon sila ng conflict so paano pag restart click lang natin yung start and then power tapos makikita nyo we have the restart okay so yon after restarting bubuksan po natin yung ating uh, installer okay pag dinownload po natin yung installer na nasa baba sa link ng description maaaring ang inyong download or ang ating program ay nasa downloads po so hahanapin nyo po doon sa download or pwede nyo pong sinave sa ibang drive on my case nilipat ko na po kasi yung dinownload ko kaya nandito na po sa aking drive so ang gagawin po natin is i-double click lang po natin itong pangalan na to Itong setup definition. That is our Office 365. And then, just click on Yes. Ihintayin lang natin na mag-download at mag-install po 
ang ating Office 365. Ayun, makikita po natin dito na dinadownload na po natin yung ating Office 365. So, hihintayin lang po natin yan hanggang sa matapos po. Okay, it will take you around uh, 15 minutes to 20 minutes. Depende sa internet connection and of course, depende na rin po sa inyong laptop. And then after after downloading all the applications, makikita po natin tong screen na to. Sabi dyan, you are all set. Office is installed now. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating Office 365 ay ready to use na. So, all you have to do is to click on close. Then, the next step na gagawin po natin is to click on start button. Tapos, makikita natin doon, naka-install ng Word, PowerPoint, and Publisher, scroll down lang po natin yan. And then, hahanapin natin yung office na icon. So, double click po natin yan para mag-open. Then, once na nag-open siya, okay, on my case kasi I have my account already. Click natin yung sign in. And then, Ayan, so magsa-sign in po tayo. Pipiliin lang natin yung work or school account. Kasi ang Office 365 is provided by the Department of Education, kaya it is uh, an school account or a work account. And then, ayun, ilalagay na po natin yung credentials natin, which is the username and the password. Take note. Ang username po natin for Office 365, ang palatandaan po ay my R1. Huwag po natin ilalagay yung ating DepEd email account po. Magkaiba po yun. Then just click on sign in and then, of course, you're going to enter your new password. And then after entering the password, no, makikita mo na lahat ng mga applications na pwede mong i-download pa or pwede mong gamitin using Office 365. You can also download no, yung Office 365 natin on Google Play and App Store. Okay? Para at least once na nag-create ka na ng document mo, i-click mo lang yung allow to save on OneDrive. Tapos, ayun, pwede mo na rin i-open or pwede na rin siya mag-sync doon sa yung tablet or doon sa yung smartphone. Ayun, and that's it for today. I hope na nakasunod po kayo. Kung hindi po natin nasundan ay pwede nyo pong ulit-ulitin ng video or kung hindi po natin nasundan or meron kayong problem or encounter problem installing your Office 365 you can comment down below. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like and of course share this video para sa ating mga kasamahan. Maraming salamat and God bless.